So what do you do when you've got your existing stringing machine, which is either a drop weight or a crank, it's a, it's a manual stringing machine, and you have started looking at electronic stringing machines and you say, do you know what, I kind of want one of those, but I can't really afford the amount of money that they cost. Um, what can you do? So, the great news is, uh, and I only really uh, found this out recently, is uh, I, I have a, a drop weight stringing machine, which is a manual stringing machine. You drop the weight and it uses gravity to tension the machine. And um, I only realized the other day that you can actually convert those machines to electronic stringing machines. Because if you think about it, um, a stringing machine, and if we take a look at one, so a stringing machine is really made of two main components. There's the table on which you put your racket and where you're actually gonna do the stringing, it has all the clamps. And then you have the tensioning mechanism, which can be a drop weight, a crank, or an electronic uh, a stringing head. And essentially those two pieces are completely separate. It doesn't matter what stringing machine you have, whether it's electronic, a drop weight, or a hand crank, the bit you put the racket on and clamp and string the racket largely remains the same. And so in that way, actually, my, uh, to convert a stringing machine, if let's say you've got a drop weight, all you've actually got to do is take off the drop weight and put on a stringing head, which is exactly what I have done. So, what have I done? So what we have here, this is, uh, this is a tennis head. It's the Tennis Head 286 Professional, and it is made by a company called Wise USA. And effectively, what this is, is it's uh, just the... Uh, stringing head, the tensioning part, um, that is electronic. And if I just switch this on here, what I've got effectively now is I've, I unbolted the drop weight and uh, there's a little adapter plate on the back here which I've bolted in and then I've just attached the stringing head to what was previously a drop weight stringing machine. And effectively now what I've got is an electronic stringing machine. So first question is, why did I bother doing this? Um, uh, I'd say a couple of reasons. The, there's nothing wrong with a drop weight machine or a hand crank machine. Um, however, once you do start stringing with some frequency, um, they become quite laborious. You know, you feel like you're doing a lot of work to string a racket and it's not the most uh, appealing thing. You kind of think, oh, do I have to string another racket? So number one is it's, it's, uh, it's not necessarily quicker. Um, I think actually, probably I've strung rackets now with this electronic uh, head on my stringing machine. I, I don't feel like I'm going any quicker, but it sure feels a lot easier. Uh, simply because I'm pressing a button and it just does the job for me in terms of tensioning the strings. Uh, second re reason, let's face it, is that, you know, I, like a lot of people, I'm one of those people that kind of, I'm curious and kind of go, wow. There's those electronic string machines, I think I might like one of those. So there's just a sort of general appeal about it, to be perfectly honest. Um, is it really worth you doing? I think before we go into how, what it does, uh, this cost me, I would say, about £670 um, to add to my stringing machine. So considering £670 plus the stringing machine cost me £180 to begin with, with the table, second hand, What's that? Uh, 850 pounds. 850 pounds to have an electronic stringing machine, which I would say now, if I were to sell this on, I'd probably get 500 pounds for it. So um, is it worth it? Uh, over the years, I will make my money back in, you know, compared to paying a stringer. Um, it's certainly after having strung a few rackets, now it makes it feel a little bit more enjoyable to do this. And if I'm gonna keep doing it for ages, that's great. And I believe it actually does a better job. And there's a few reasons I'm gonna say why I think that's the case compared to a drop, drop weight or a hand crank in terms of the quality of the stringing job. So is it worth it? I guess that's up to you really, isn't it? It's uh, value is subjective, but definitely makes it a bit easier. And I think you get a higher quality job. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so what have we actually got here? We've got the uh, stringing head. And uh, it's got a whole bunch of buttons to be able to control. Some simple ones are, do you want it in pounds or kilos? I work in pounds. 
Uh, then we've got the up or down to be able to adjust. And nicely here, you can go in 10% of a pound or kilo increments. So you can go up and down. So in this case, I'm gonna string this at uh, 50 pounds. You can put the string tensions into the memory. So I could save 50 pounds into memory one. And then if I ever wanna come back to that, I can just quickly, so if I'm constantly stringing at two very common tensions, I can put those in. Uh, we have over here, we have a constant pull. And constant pull just means that uh, the string head will keep pulling the string because as you first tension a string, it actually stretches a bit. So you lose the initial bit of uh, tension and so it keeps pulling to maintain. And we'll see that when we actually um, uh, start stringing, you can turn that on or off. Uh, we've got a few buttons for testing, for turning the sound on or off. And over here, importantly as well, we have one called pre-stretch. And what pre-stretch does is allows you to stretch the string more than the tension, and you can set the percentages. So if I go 10% pre-stretch, then it would, it would stretch the string to 55 pounds and then ease it off back to 50. And this was typically done for strings like natural gut, which are very, very elastic, which will lose the tension very, very quickly initially. So it just allows you to pre-stretch. Again, you can turn that off, probably with a poly string, you wouldn't really need that. Uh, I'm gonna leave that on at the moment for this one. Okay, so how does this actually work? And it's a really, really neat mechanism. So let's just zoom out so we can actually see a string. Now, a couple of things here is uh, they um, will say that this is not what they call a 360 degree stringer. Basically, you can't spin the racket around. So if I want a string, I have to go this way or this way. And the reason for that is that they have made it so that the gripper is at the same height as the string bread so that you're not pulling downwards on the string. It's getting tensioned in a, I guess, a linear plane. So firstly, if you're gonna string here, for example, I'm gonna pull this string. I'm gonna turn it around this way. Then what I do, I've already got my strings clamped off. This is called a, 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 um, a bobbin. I'm gonna go around the bobbin, put it in the gripper. And then all I have to do is press this lever. And you see it went very briefly there to 55 pounds. That was the pre-stretch. And now it's beat and come back to 50. And then what I can do is just clamp it off and then press the lever again. And there we go. And then I would spin it around the other way Okay, so then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tension the other side. And then I'm gonna unclamp. And you'll see when I did that, the tension dropped just as it took a, a pulled in from where it had been clamped and it took it back up to 50 pounds. So now let's drop my clamp back and clamp it off again. And then I just press the lever and off it comes. So it's not really, to be honest, I don't feel like this is any quicker but it is just, it feels a lot easier. And because you can have all the particular settings like the, um, the constant pull, it feels like you're getting a much more accurate job compared to using, let's say the drop weight, which is just using gravity uh, or, the, uh, or the hand crank. And it feels like I can just, when I'm stringing, if I come in and I've got to get used to that not being 360 and I put this in here, it feels like at that moment, I can just kind of stand back, relax a little bit, and, uh, and basically I'm getting little breaks uh, as I'm streaming. Now what I've also added here, uh, I've changed the clamps, the uh, clamp bases that I'm using, and I'm just gonna show those to you. So these clamps I put on here, these are quick release clamps. And basically what it means is, and I'm just gonna tension a string here and show you these. Uh, these clamp bases, Instead of me having to uh, untighten them, which uh, I had before, I kind of had a screw type. All I have to do with these, so when I let my clamp off, I just press the button and it immediately unclamps and then I can just move it. That probably is slightly quicker than using the other clamp. So again, I just pop the button and it undoes the base. That's slightly quicker than having to sort of undo, but also the, the ones that tighten with the screw and the reason why I replaced these they kept on coming loose and I was having to tighten them up. So again, this just makes it feel easier. I feel like I'm having to do less work. It's not necessarily quicker. You know, this might be slightly quicker. So don't expect suddenly you to be doing, you know, your string jobs super fast. 
but it just feels a lot more enjoyable. Uh, it just feels a lot more enjoyable to do this. So I guess the big question here is really, I mean, I now have an electronic string machine, which I'm pretty chuffed about. I'm looking forward to using it more and more, whereas to be honest with the drop weight, it wasn't the most enjoyable. Plus actually this takes up slightly less space because I don't have the big drop weight arm coming down. So I can actually create more space in my small room here. But should you do it? Well, that really is a subjective question because there is outlay. Uh, it could be just, you wanna have a better experience in which case you're willing to pay the money, great. Again though, I would imagine within, uh, within a year, considering the number of rackets that I'm stringing, I will easily cover the cost compared to if I were taking my rackets to a stringer. And actually I've just increased the inherent value of that stringing machine should I want to sell it uh, in the future. So for me, the answer was, yeah, it was massive value. Um, but just uh, interesting to see that you can actually convert your manual string machine into electronic using uh, the Wise USA tension head, uh, and it's the 2086 model. Maybe go and check it out.